determine the next three terms of the following sequence. So we're dealing with sequence right now or uh, exploring other types of sequence. So in here, we need to find a way to find these three terms. First, let's find the difference of this number. Uh, the second, num second term to the first term. So 3 minus 1, we, ha we have 2. Next, 6 minus 3 is 3. 10 minus 6, we have 4. 15 minus 10, we have 5. Fifth. Next is 15. Uh, 21 minus 15, we have 6. Okay. So if you notice the, uh, the result of subtracting, we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So increasing. So meaning to say, the number between them is an increasing number from 2. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So what's next? Instead of subtracting, we're going to add. Okay? So let's check again how. So 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 3, 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 6, 21. 21 plus 7, 28. 28 plus 8, 36. 36 plus 9, 45. Okay. So we have now 28, 36, and 45. So easy, right? So that's how to get the three terms of a sequence. So determine the next three terms of the following sequence. So we have here 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and 21. So first, again, we're going to subtract the given numbers from the sec second term and the first term. So 1 minus 1, 0. 2 minus 1, 1. 3 minus 2, 1. 5 minus 3, 2. 8 minus 5, 3. 13 minus 8, 5. 21 minus 13, 8. Okay. So, if you notice, these numbers are the previous numbers. So, this one from there, this number from here, this number from here, this one is here. Meaning to say, the number in here must be also those number. So, 8, next is 13, and next is 21. What's next? So, 13 plus 8, 21. 21 plus 13, so 20, 34. Okay. Next, 34 plus 21, so we have 4, 5. And then 3, 4, 5. 55. And then, of course, this must be 34. And add 5 plus 4, 9. Then 5 plus 3, 8. 89. Okay. So that's a simple technique in getting the next three terms of a sequence. Uh, it's easy if you really think of it or if you really think of the ways on finding those uh, terms or next three terms. Okay, so I'm going to give you more examples.